Hey, barbecue fans. Today we're taking Halloween grilling to the next level with party ribs cooked inside a pumpkin on the big green egg. No foil, no pans, just tender juicy ribs packed with smoky pumpkin infused flavor. Trust me, this is one barbecue trick you won't want to miss. And don't forget to check out the description for the full recipe. Well, let's get into this spooky barbecue magic. So for this, we're gonna start working with baby back ribs because we want to have we only have a limited amount of space inside this pumpkin. So we're gonna work with baby back ribs. Now these are pretty nice and fat and thick. And the nice part is we don't have to do anything to prep them. There is no extra fat on them, no anything. We're gonna leave the membrane on, okay? Because I want the season to get to it. We're gonna cut these into individual ribs and that's the whole idea of party ribs. Now, since there's no trimming to do really, all I wanna do is go underneath the side here so you can see where the bones are in here. Take a nice sharp knife and just simply slice in between the bones just like that, okay, into individual ribs. Party ribs, baby. There ain't no party like a pumpkin rib party because a pumpkin rib party don't stop. And that's it for our ribs here. That was really easy enough. All we have to do now is season them. Today, I'm gonna use two different rubs from my two favorite barbecue ladies, Tina Cannon's All Porked Up Pork Rub and Grill Go Robin's Sunshine State of Mind. So we're gonna load these babies up right now. First, Tina's pork rub all over them. All right, a nice healthy coating because we're gonna mix them all up and we wanna get everything covered. Next up, Robin's Sunshine State of Mind. And now, mix to coat. For these party ribs, I've already got the grill filled up with our Fogo, our premium black bag charcoal. This is a great all around. It's great for smoking, it's great for grilling. It's a great, our most popular all around charcoal. So that's what it's already filled up. I've already got it burning at 275 degrees. The good news is, we are ready to put some ribs on here, babies. Let's go ahead and put these on. You want to put them on the grate. If you can do them bone side up, that actually helps out a lot. So we're going to redo these. I forgot about that. I don't know why I laid them on their side. For this, we're using baby backs. I wanted to have a bone in cook for this because you know when it comes to barbecue, you got to have a good backbone. <laughs> oh man. All right. So we got a grill set at 275. The one thing I didn't mention is that we're going to cook these for about an hour and a half like this. Okay, and the other thing I didn't mention is that we put some smoking chunks in there. That's right, we want to add a little smoke to these ribs. So I added barrel proof, smoke your bourbon barrel chunks. They're made from aged bourbon barrels and they add a sweet flavor to the ribs like you can't believe. So I think this is going to be a pretty sweet dinner, if you know what I mean. Now for the fun part, okay, we got a sharp knife, we got a pumpkin. You know what we're going to do? We're going to hollow this baby out because this is going to be our cooking vessel. So it's real simple, just cut the top off. Now the good news is, you don't have to waste all of this. You can take this and make your own pumpkin seeds. They're real easy. If you go to my Instagram, we just made them. As a matter of fact, tells you the complete recipe, how to do it right there. But we wanna get all this pulp in here, cleaned out of here. All right, kids, we are moving right along here. So that is what your pumpkin should look like when it's all done. Nice and clean on the inside, all right? Make it like a nice bowl. Now, these have been going for about an hour and a half. Let's take a look. Oh. Oh, they look beautiful. Look at the color on these things, man. They're getting a little tender. Oh yeah. So carefully place your ribs inside the pumpkin. Don't worry, this won't squash your flavor. <laughs> Pumpkin's gonna add a little extra moisture and a hint of sweet, earthy flavor. It's like your ribs just got invited to a Halloween costume party. As pumpkin ribs. Time to give our ribs a little sauce doom. So I'm using old citrus by my buddy Red Dirt Rich here, okay? Uh, it's got nice citrus tones, gonna add nice to the pumpkin. Put a lot in, don't be afraid. It's a barbecue, not a salad bar. Our next step is gonna be to add some honey. All right, I got this from Rancho Calaveras. It's a beautifully fresh, nicely made honey right there. Damn, I made a mess. Oh God, this honey's so stupidly good. Last thing I'm gonna add is a half a stick of butter to this. Kind of spread your butter around. This is for one rack of ribs. Obviously, if you're doing two racks of ribs, you can do more butter than you want, more sauce. These are the sauces and the rubs that I'm using. Hey, feel free to use whichever ones you want. But just so you know, there's always a link in, in the description down below to all of the products that I use in these videos. Our last step is to put our pumpkin with our ribs back on the grill, okay? Now, you always wanna check beforehand to make sure your pumpkin's gonna have enough room on the grill. I did check that before, so this should be just fine. Look at that. Good like anything. Fits like a champ. Oh my God, I forgot one thing. Brown sugar. We got to put some brown sugar in there. Just sprinkle some in there. There's no specific measurement. I probably used two tablespoons, something like that. I like light brown sugar. You can use dark brown sugar. Use whatever you like best, okay? We'll let that cook for about one hour more like this. It's going to get nice and soft and saucy and tender and so good. I can't wait. It's going to be so spectacularly delicious. All right, my little pumpkins, I think that our ribs are done. They've been going for just over two and a half hours. So they should be plenty, plenty ready here. So I'm gonna pull our pumpkin off. Ooh, that sucker softened up a little bit too. Ooh, all right. Oh my God, it smells awesome. It smells really awesome. 
yeah. Oh my God, they look awesome. Look at these ribs. They're tender, they're juicy, and they make your taste buds do the monster mash. And just like a pumpkin carriage at midnight, these ribs are transformed, and trust me, they won't turn back into regular old ribs. Nope, these are party ribs, Halloween style. <laughs> so good. It shouldn't be that good. Mm, they really are. They're juicy, they're tender, they're delicious. The pumpkin adds a nice little kind of earthy flavor to them, and it's really actually quite good. Guys, I really want to say thanks so much for tuning in, okay? When you're grilling ribs in a pumpkin on a big green egg, winner, winner, pumpkin rib dinner, baby. Anyway, that's all I've got for you this week. Remember, get out and grill. Happy Halloween, and I'll see you the next time on The Fogo Life. Captain Ron, out. <laughs>